Yes, it's me, it's Benedict. Um, pardon me, I'm just teaching myself how to fly. Much like the protagonist of today's cartoon, Walter Lance's The Flying Turtle. Released in June 1953, this cartoon was part of Lance's short-lived Foolish Fables series. Based on the fable of the tortoise and the birds, The Flying Turtle is the second of the series and is also widely considered, if IMDb is to be trusted, to be the series' best. For reasons I will be getting into a little later. So, will this cartoon be flying high or is it just going to fall flat on its face? The story be Once upon a time, there was a turtle named Herman. I'm the one who does the commentary around here, cartoon. No need to step in for me. Well, as the narrator just said, Olu Mel here dreams about flying. For some reason. It's never explained why. Yep, Herman dreams about flying, even though no one takes him seriously. All I have to do is like this. So he tries out his little theory. <laughs> only to predictably fall to the ground, and be picked up and scoffed at by a bald eagle. Because America. Now run along and keep your feet on the ground. Whoops, watch the message, Anvil cartoon. As he slips sadly away, Herman eventually comes across a flying school. Contact! So seeing an opportunity, Herman rushes ahead in line. Contact. At first it seems to work, but again he falls to the ground. You'll never fly. You're a turtle. You gotta have wings, boy. So you want wings because you want to do the doocy do? You don't need wings to do that. Herman tries various methods of propulsion to get him into the air, such as pans, propellers, slingshots, and even the old rock on a seesaw trick. All fail to hilarious results. <laughs> Look, why don't you give up? You'll never fly. You ain't got no feathers. Feathers, eh? Feathers? So Herman tries to yank the eagle's feathers. No! But the only thing that does is land him in the sea. Well, he is a turtle. He'd do pretty well in the water. While he's underwater, Herman finds some sunken treasure, which gives him an idea. Mr. Eagle, you could teach me to fly. If you take me up, I'll, I'll give you treasures and jewels I found in the sea. Treasures and jewels? How much? More. Herman collects the sunken treasure. I've heard of a chest of drawers, but that is ridiculous. Let's go, Bob. And of course, the eagle eventually agrees to take Herman into the sky. Most likely so he can make eagle chow out of Herman. I mean, we all know how Iskalus met his maker. Higher and higher they go. Uh-uh. No tricks now. They go so high that the eagle eventually starts making some very sudden costume changes. We're losing altitude! Now, higher! My ears are popping! Eventually, they both make it somehow to outer space. The end of the line, shorty! Roger! So Herman yanks the eagle's feathers to try and fly for himself. Here I go! But predictably, he falls. And what's worse, the feathers get frazzled. So, what do you say Machina's gonna save him? Any second now. Oh, but he's dead! And that, folks, is the end of our story. And the end of Herman. Well, that was a gutsy ending. Okay, so that was the flying... Wait, why do I hear the sound of a cartoon afterlife? I can fly! I can fly! I can fly! So Herman becomes a paracooper and now flies around paradise to his little heart's content. Good on you, Herman. Good on you. Okay, so now that was the flying turtle. Admittedly, the story isn't that remarkable, apart from the ending, which, again, is very gutsy. That said though, the animation is good and the gags work well too. 
and Herman himself may be an idiot, but he is still pretty cute and easy to root for, even if it does cost him his life. Is it worth watching? I'd say so, yes, if only because the ending is such a daring one. And that, folks, is the end of our review. And now it's time for me to learn to fly. Thank you for watching, if you like this be sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you next month when I become the first man to fly unaided. Here I go! Stupid death, stupid death, they're funny cause they're true. Stupid death, stupid death, hope next time it's not you. <laughs>